a newer version, and we're going to always be coming up with different designs. This you can peel away and throw away at another one. The vat band, you can't. Once you peel it off, it's worthless. So I want to first discuss the cleaning process. You always get a layer, a thin layer of, uh, for some reason, just the resin likes to just build up on it. You get thin layers and kind of flakes off like white little bits. So what you got to do is get that out. So in order to do that, you get a small scuff pad. 99 cent store has them by, I think, six pack. Put a little bit of alcohol on it and then just go to town with it. All right, once you do that, make sure you get the bottom underneath it, the top, because this, you will see in a few minutes, it will literally go over the, uh, the lip. And that you could also cut. We're trying to get a better seal than we did before. So, and this is IPA, acetone proof as well. So I didn't go through the process here real quick. A few things I wanna point out. I'm sure you're wondering, why is this over here? This right here is a thermostat that controls the temperature. So the way the thermostat works is it, it controls the peak. So if you wanted to, if you saw the demo for our, um, extreme cold weather, uh, 35 to 45 in that range, you don't need to regulate it. The power itself, in the power adapter, we have a, another sensor in there that regulates the temperature as well. So this, you can pretty much pull it back like this, not let it touch, and the temperature will go a lot higher. But in, in, in a regular uh, 60 to 70, I would just put that in there and it'll regulate it at the 68 to 75 in that range temperature. Fahrenheit, that is. Okay, 25 for the uh, Celsius. Uh, the ideal range is 21 to 25, 26 um, Celsius, and Fahrenheit is 68 to 85 is ideal. All right, so now we cover that. Um, these caps, we're going to be supplying you the STL file, so you can put it in there. Uh, you can download it and just print it. The reason we're doing that is because these, we're noticing that after you know prolonged use, there's some wear and tear, taking it out, putting it in. So we decided to let you guys have the STL file and print it, check the uh, connections. So there is bottom and top, okay? So now I double checked and I push it in a little bit. It's gonna be a little tight fit and I pull it just a little bit as I'm doing it. Push and then pull the cable just a little bit. Push, pull, so you don't have any extra material, okay? Um, what else here? Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and install the most important part. Insulation. Insulation, we're gonna start from, from the bag here. Let's go ahead and take this out. First things first, you do not squeeze this. This is probably the, the tightest you wanna get on the crease. You don't want it go any, if I squeeze this, this thing is trash, all right? So do not get a crease or a bend. Um, it might not function right after few uses, it'll start to fail on you. So it's very, very sensitive. So when you, as soon as you get it, look at it first. If it's damaged, take a picture of it, send it to me, and we'll be happy to replace it for you. Just, just make sure it's not bent or there's a tight crease, okay, or fold. Um, you cannot cut it with a scissor, all right? If you think it, oh, let me cut it, make it shorter, no. Um, the current has to go all the way through around the vent, around the bend. You see how it works. As soon as you break anything, it will no longer work. And do not attempt to cut close to it. There is a certain heat resonating from the, uh, the actual band itself here. And if you get too close, it'll start leaking. We don't want to do that as well. Don't mess with the band. Okay. It's that simple. Um, now let's go ahead and install this piece. Take off the rubber band. All right. These wires are actually coated and they're heat uh, protected. So if, if you somehow get this on top of this, don't worry about it. It's, it's meant to handle temperature up to 400 Fahrenheit. What I do right away is peel this back. On our new shipments we're getting right now is we are allowing the thermostat. We're also changing the thermostat actually. Um, 
We're getting the thermostat shipment in soon, hopefully. And then we're going to, it's going to be half the size and a lot more, a lot more uh, durable, I should say. Um, here we go. Let's peel this back. And we're not going to play with this messy tape anymore. I'll send you some extra tape as well with this, okay? Uh, never expose that area. So even though when I tell you to take out the tape, later on we need to tape that down separately and then tape this on a separate as well. All right, so let's go ahead and put that there. First things first, let's do a quick dry run, see how it looks. I'm gonna put it on the other side. So I like to put my finger down and feel the edge. When you push it up, that's where you want to be at. And in the curve, pretty much right there. So again, it's all about using your fingers to feeling out where it's gonna where it's gonna stop. So roughly even here I'm okay. See that? So I, I might probably give myself a little bit more space here. So I'll do it from here. So I'm gonna give about a half an inch there. Okay. And what we're going to do is peel this back. There we go. Peel about halfway and then come back up and then fold it at an angle like that. Okay? So it should look like this. So what I did is I peeled back and I went to the side. The reason we're doing this is once we go over the hump of the curve, then we want to realign the curve so it comes out right. So let's go ahead and squeeze, attach the very first layer, hold this up like that. So don't make a touch yet. Use your finger as your guide where it's going to be at. So let's do it right about here and then Give it a quick eyeball right about there. I screwed up. That's okay. That's why we're doing a step at a time here. Up. I'm pushing it against the lip. It's the highest point. And then that should be good right about there. That's good. So what I do is I just push my finger against the lip where I hit. That's the max, obviously. So we're going to stick with the max. So now I'm, I'm happy with this right there. So I'm massaging this in, my finger. Here, do not massage after more than that because at this point, what's gonna happen is you're gonna adjust going up and down. So let's go ahead and peel this back. And then notice I still have the end here. This way you touch the sticky adhesive less. So now we're gonna look at how it's gonna be lined up I'm kind of like looking at it where it's going to go. I can also peel back a little bit. It's okay. And then we're going to go ahead, put this down like this. I'm pulling it back and then I'm going to be stretching it. I don't know if you see that. Let me pull this back again. So we can do that. We're, we're, we're still safe to doing that. So now I'm doing it one more time here. Change the angle of attack. And now I'm happy with this angle. See how I did that? Should I do it again? Look, peel this back. Doesn't like to be peeled back, but let's try it again. Okay, good. See how? All right, let's do this again. Peel this back. All right, see that? So see how I'm moving this up and down? I can change the contour of the curve. So if I'm not happy with the contour of the curve, Put your finger up here, all right? And then pull back and then slowly pivot. So I just pivot it right now, right there. Push this back down, like that, okay? Let's do it again, so you see it. I'm pushing it, I'm manipulating the curve. Oh, push too far. See that? All right, so let's go ahead and lock this down. Enough playing with around. So now it's locked in place. Just put your, run your finger on it so there's nothing sticking out. It's nothing sticking out. So go ahead and make it permanent.
do one quick pressure run here. You'll see that it's bubbling up. See, make sure everything's in place before you continue. So there's a fold here starting to happen. So what I do is I tap, 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 just in case. And then do another more, one more run like that. And now it's pretty much solid, pretty much on the money. Now we go ahead and peel this back like so. And then come up like this and we're good. We're good to go. There we go. So if you notice uh, in the previous video, I what I do is I screw this wire in. Literally, I, I do this to it. Okay, do this to it, and then stick it through the wire in and spin it in. It actually like a corkscrew goes right through it. There is no positive and negative. It doesn't matter which end you do. So don't even worry about, am I gonna get it wrong? You won't get it wrong. Just go ahead and put it in there. Make sure the connection is nice and tight. What I normally do is I, use your finger, it's not that. I do a double sometimes. Okay, so you take that and I do a double. And then I do a twist. And if you have the time, honestly, I would just solder that too. Make it solid. Put a little solder there. Okay, so that's basically it. Now let's go ahead and put the sticker on. Uh, it's, it's, this material is very sticky. This is used on those forklifts that you see outside. It stays outside. It's that kind of a material. Very, very rugged. It's all the warning stickers you see on the industrial machines. So it's a very tough material. And it's very, very sticky. See if I can get it out. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Same process we're going to do here. This time we're going to start from here because I want more material here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to add more of the tape here, right about this much more. I have half inch to three quarter inches more on both sides on the tape. So, and then later on we're gonna use the razor and make a nice little slice here. And then we're gonna pull this out of it. Or you could do a slice here right now and then slide it in like a jacket. So for now, if you're not in an extreme weather situation, just go ahead and put it on top of it like, like I'm gonna demonstrate. So before we do that, make sure these cables are nice and organized. Get them parallel lined up. So we start flat here and then we start curving it. Okay. 